Whoa, it's the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. We're in the garden. We're doing more of these uh, homesteading in the urban environment videos because people have a lot of questions. So that I got a question about my chamomile. So I've been growing this uh, one chamomile bush here. And if you don't know, chamomile is uh, makes a super nice tea that uh, helps you sleep in the evening and super relaxing and you know you get it and so this is my one chamomile tea bush and i've been uh repeatedly taking flowers off it because the flowers here are what you make the tea out of so there's this little beautiful white and orange flower and um i pretty much you you want to get them when they're all here's a nice looking one when they're all flat and and laid out like like that see how it's all like flat like that and they pretty much come right off with your with your fingers but i just uh straight up just trim them you don't want to get a lot of stem in there because the stems make it bitter but i just drop them into my little little ramekin here and this plant has been continually like producing flowers next year i would definitely grow like at least four of these they're pretty abundant with the amount of flowers they grow and and like i said you just you just clip them off and they grow a new batch of flowers pretty rapidly and from there it's you just keep getting tea like you can see there's another flower there and then i'll just i'll just trim it up I'll just trim off these uh, the stems right there and, and try to uh, inspire it to grow more. And that's, Daddy, yeah, what Bert. What you have to do with this to, to get the we, things off? Will you want to show them your technique? Because that's the, the, the real technique. Why don't you show them, here, do it on with that flower because it'll come right off. Watch, I'll do it like that. Yeah, and wait, you got to show them in the thing, so. So I so there you got the little flower and that comes right off without any stem. And then you cut the dead part with the dead part. Yeah, right, right there. Yeah. And it'll grow new flowers in the same spot. Yeah, it'll grow more flowers. And um, yeah, there you go. And owls picking uh, chamomile flowers. He goes for that. I'm a little, I'm a little rough on it, so I take the uh, more passive, scissored approach. But um, yeah, the 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 chamomile has been a real, real blessing. I don't. Yeah, can I use some of the scissors? Yeah, I I love my. I, this is pretty much for my wife, and so I've been harvesting the mint too in the garden, and she adds it together to make her own little like uh, nice little drink in the evening. And uh, that's what we're doing. So I would highly advise getting some chamomile growing in the backyard. And uh, I next time I would have, I would definitely grow about four of these bushes. I think would provide enough chamomile because this is this probably if if I think about how much I've taken out of it, I've probably gotten a full one of these so f completely full so far, and and it's still producing plenty of flowers. So. With that said, that's the illusion. I'm homesteading in the urban environment. And that's what we're doing today, dude. Getting stoked on our, our flowers and using them and being grateful. If you like what we're doing on this channel, there's links down below. You can support it. It's crowdfunded. And uh, we're at 30765. PCH number 523 Malibu, California 90265. If you want to send us any correspondence or any subject matters you want us to cover and whatever we should get into next and you want to send us any silver, Legos, seeds, cuttings, whatever, we're super grateful to accept all gifts being offered. It's The Illusion and Owl signing off.